It's Double Double Time with Rick Jackson on Inside the Big East. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Inside the Big East. 27,000 strong here at the Dome today as the Orange are taking on Rutgers. And, you know, one guy being his usual self, a horse on the court, that's Rick Jackson. I had to come up here myself to see what all the fuss is about. This is one of the most improved players in the conference this season, and he's got people talking. Jim Beheim has said Jackson is the most consistent orange man this season. Coach, tell me a little bit about Rick Jackson and what he means to this team. What an amazing success story over the years, coming in as a freshman. Not as heralded, turning into a senior, incredible. It's been amazing watching him this season and his double-doubles. And we're here as Jim Beheim cloned to help celebrate Rick Jackson, his points, his rebounds. Tell me what you like about Rick Jackson. I'll tell you, I followed the guy uh, when he first started playing. He kind of was a hard-nosed player, but then year by year he's improved, and I think he's probably one of the best players in the Big East right now. What do you like about Rick Jackson? Um, he usually uh, shoots hoops, and he uh, does good passes. First and foremost, he brings leadership. He's just been huge this year, setting the tone. I think he's the uh, number one player of the team. Got great hands too. Can I see the Rick Jackson jersey, please? Would you mind taking that down? Are these selling like hotcakes today? Yep, everyone's buying them. Can you show us the back of your t-shirt? Yes. I was just wondering, what could you tell me about uh, Rick Jackson? You're almost as tall as he is. Okay, no comment. And uh, the guy can uh, box out. He can get the rebounds and put the ball in the basket. That's what we need. What do you like about Rick Jackson? He's a beast from the east. Got to go to Jackson is the only inside presence we've got. What do you like about Rick's game? Dude, he's got a beautiful, beautiful touch. I mean, left hand, no one, no one can stop him. So rumor has it, Jen, that you're raffling off tickets for a big lunch with Rick Jackson, true or false? You know, Honestly. It's false, but you know, I can see what I can do for you, you know. Oh, he's improved a lot from last year to this year. Lost a lot of weight, went to the gym. When I first got here, you know, things wasn't easy, you know. Playing against bigger and stronger guys, you know, all I heard was you got to get in the weight room, just keep working in the weight room. I mean, to come along and, uh, you know, really just playing with those guys, you know, banging all day. With the veterans showing you around, showing you different moves. He lost those 20 somewhat pounds and now look at him, he's a beast out there and you can't give him enough credit for, for how much work he put in. He could have been home all summer, but he stayed here at school. I'm in a position to play 40 minutes and not be tired. I think last year if I played 40 minutes, I'd have been out there dying. A lot of people calling this a breakout year for Rick Jackson. Tell me what it's like to be playing beside him this season. It's great. I've been playing with Rick my whole life. We grew up together. We played bitty ball, AU, high school, and now in college together. I think South Philly is what made me really tough, giving me this mindset, just going out there. And I mean, if I want it, I'm just going to take it. That's the mindset. I'm happy for him, happy for his family, just to see his progression and come here as a boy and leave as a man. I think I just want to finish out this year, try to take my team and win it, you know. I've been to Sweet 16 twice. It breaks your heart to lose when you think you could have went further. I just want to end on a good note, try to make the NBA, see if I'm a type of player that they'll like, and uh, hopefully I am, and we'll go for there.